There's a brand new high quality bus mod for BeamNG. It is the Die One Commercial Frame Vehicles mod by Urban Made. It's free and on the repo, and it introduces this the Die One LN090 and the LN120. These are compact city buses. Now, these are based on Daewoo buses from the 1990s, specifically the BH and the FX series. And the 90 stands for it being 9 meters long, and the 120 is 12 meters long. Check out the interior, though. It really is something. Look at this. It's really nice with these beautiful textured seats. We've got interior lighting that I can turn on and off with the I key. We've got an emergency exit door here at the side, and then up on the roof, we've got emergency exit roof hatches. Look at that. The cockpit is also super high quality. Look at these dials. They're super nice. And then over here, we've got a digital display showing the date and time. We've got buttons for the well, lever for the door, and then we can turn on the hazard lights, the warning lights. So we've even got the air suspension buttons here. So we can do max ride height, default ride height. There we go. Oh, we're going up. And the bus even has a diff lock. That's kind of weird. This config has a 9.8 litre diesel engine with an automatic gearbox, so let's take her for a spin. So this mod was created by Urban Made, and they've given us mods like the Brookel M Body Pack and the Rayton MR Platform. And if you download this mod from the link in the description, make sure you also download the Urban Made Core Resource Package. You do need it to use this bus. So you can probably hear... We've got a slightly customized engine noise. I do think it sounds really nice. Also the suspension with the ride height up like this high. It's pretty soft. Look at this. Let's go around this corner and I'm going to show you what I mean about the body roll. Ready? Look at that. That is crazy. You don't feel like you're leaning too much when you're driving along inside. But when you look at it from the outside, oh boy, I feel like it's going to tip over. But it never does. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Let's go for a big crash test. Okay, so we're doing about 50. Let's hit this palm tree. Whoa! Everything is flying off. Oh, jeez. Okay, so the whole body of the bus has separated from the chassis. Wow! Notice how all the windows kind of smash with a quite interesting looking texture there. That is really cool. This pack currently has 26 different configs of the buses, and in the future, there'll be more vehicles added to the pack. So, let's have a look at the 120. Here it is, the 120. It's three meters longer, and, you know, it's still quite compact for a bus. Looks a bit more like a coach, this one. Now, this is really cool. On the exterior, we have opening, yeah, cargo compartments. There you look really really nice. The animation is beautiful on them. And there's three on the other side, so you can basically make a tunnel to the other side. Yay! There's a service panel back here. I don't know what this is in here, but it looks pretty cool. And then around here, we've got a split folding engine compartment. I've never seen this before. There is the engine, the 9.8 litre diesel. The bus even has a startup jingle. Listen to this when I turn it on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, this mod has just released, but it's fair to say that mirror is kind of useless. I don't know what's going on there. Luckily, this one does work quite well, and the other one is exactly the same. That's a bit strange. Also, the bus seems to wobble quite a bit when you hit any kind of bump. Look at that. Whoa. It, there's something weird going on in suspension on this. And oh my goodness, with the three extra meters, this must weigh maybe half a ton more, and it's pretty slow. Yeah, what does the speedo go up to? In uh, It's in kilometers per hour, 160. But look, we do have a trip meter that works. Most of the configs have a facelift version, so this is the school bus with the 2000s facelift, and then this is the 90s version. You can see a much more square appearance. With the school bus, once you've opened the door, you can toggle the warning stop lights, which alerts people front and behind behind uh, the Euro school bus. And I love this sign here, look. Beware of head. That is kind of funny. This mod supports the in-game bus routes, and this destination board will actually change to the destination when we go onto one of the routes. Now, we are using the 120 City. This is a very interesting engine because it's an 11.2 litre compressed natural gas engine. Listen to this. Sounds very different. Both of the engines are turbocharged, but if this any more powerful... Oh, we actually have a manual for this one. Okay, here we go. Whoa. It sounds very different, doesn't it? Oh. You know what? I think it's slightly more torquey, but maybe just a little less horsepower. I don't know. And look at the massive gear stick. That's craziness. Whoa, mind out. Oh, this thing doesn't like being at high speed. Oh, we need to flip it. Can we flip it? Come on. Yes. Oh. 
Oh, that's really bad. Oh, nearly flipping it. Oh, wow. He's... Yeah, that is a big wreck. <laughs> okay, let's do a bus route. So we're about to do the route, the Royal Bank. And as you can see, that display looks really, really nice. And it's on the back as well. Okay, here we go. That guy is very kindly getting out of the way. So here we go. Now, what's really cool is there's a button here for the stop control request. So I can press this. Look, it makes a noise. And that is when someone requests to stop at the bus stop. They're also dotted around the bus and they work as well. Look, there's loads on every single column, basically. Okay, proceed to the next stop, close the door. That door closes really quickly. Go, go. Actually, we do have a rear door, mid door. Okay, mid door. Wait, what? I, I don't see a mid door. Uh, that is really weird. It says there's a mid door on the dashboard, but there isn't one. Basically, this mod is fully integrated with the bus routes. Whoa, break! Oh, I'd be a terrible bus driver. This is one of the higher-end coaches of the 120, and you know when you're on a tour, and where does the tour guide sit? Well, this mod has thought of that with a little seat over here. Look at that. That's really cool. This is an even more premium coach, and look at this Easter egg. Up here, we've got a screen that usually shows the GPS, but if you look for the roof-mounted TV and then go to TV content and change it to DVD loading, we get the DVD no input available screen. Look, it's going to go in the corner. It's going to go in the corner. Oh, oh, nearly. It's not all regular buses, though. For example, there's just the chassis of the bus. I wonder what this drives like. Well, it's much lighter and as such, there's a lot less body roll, but it does feel, it feels a bit weird, to be honest. Can we drift it? Come on. You can never really, oh, I know. Lock the rear diff. See if that helps to drift. Push it round. I mean, there's a lot of tire smoke, but not much really happening. Come on, get some kind of weave going. Oh, oh, you know what? That was nearly a drift. Whoa, yes, we're doing it. We're drifting a bus. Well, the chassis of a bus anyway. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the engine's been ripped off. Can we still drive? Um, the engine is over here, <laughs> but we're still driving. Okay, that's... BeamNG physics right there. Believe it or not, this mod actually has some police buses. So over here, we've got the Ministry of Justice for South Korea bus. Looks pretty cool. I guess this would be, I don't know, for transporting members of the jury. I really don't know, but it does have a siren. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the police bus in an interesting green and white color scheme. We've also got these grills over the glass to stop, I guess, it smashing when rocks get thrown in it. But we do have a little cutout here for the driver. So I guess screw the driver. If a rock comes through here, that's not going to end well. And look, I found the rear door. Here it is. Even the doors have the grill mesh on. Again, it has sirens, but this isn't really the bus I want to show you. It's this. The Poppy Pig. This is the Riot Bus. As you can see, it's all black. We've got sirens again and massive grill meshes over here. This is going to be really, really good for defensive operations. So you can imagine this thing will be driven into a riot zone and then the police will be deployed with this bus. So let's try and smash free some traffic in this thing. See how it does. Okay, it's quite hard to see out. I have to kind of duck my head down there to see. Wow, it's really hard to see out of this thing. Okay, siren on. Let's see how we do. First car. Yep. Oh, you know what? It's actually pretty strong. The glass in the front is already smashed by the look, but we do still have the grill, so... Whoa! Body roll of a beast! We are leaning pretty far right now. Almost on two wheels. Tagrak, can we get the Tagrak? Yes, we can. Oh, he's been demolished. And we are still pretty much intact. ETK, here we go! Oh! Yep, that was a big old crash. Okay, let's hit a tree to finish off. Oh, missed them. Okay, then down here to this mesh fence. As you know, these fences are completely indestructible. Oh, bus has separated from the chassis once again. And you've got to love the retro liveries on these buses. They really look nice. We're back with the CNG uh, compressed natural gas engine again with a really high power turbo. And I've got to say, it does feel a bit faster. Look at these stickers on the back. No overtake while sharp corners and please keep distance in beside lane. I mean, the weird um, bad English is so funny, but you will sometimes see this bus in traffic because it does have actually AI traffic support and a simple bus model so that's really cool but overall amazing mod does need a little bit of work I think to get it up there but I know Urban Made will continue working on this they have done in the past with their other mods so thanks for watching check the mod out from the link in the description really really epic mod and if you'd like to see a high quality school bus for BeamNG click the video on screen right now I think you'll enjoy it thanks so much for watching that's all from me and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures